I promise to love and cherish you in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, to share with you the joys and sorrows of life, to exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward you, to live with you in peace as becomes a faithful Christian wife, and forsaking all others to keep myself only unto you as long as we both shall live. And, and it even happened last night when the bridal party got together at our house. She came and sat next to me for 20 minutes. <laughs> and Isaiah was across the room. And we had our last cuddle. And uh, hmm, something is pulled out today, and, uh, and it's appropriate. And uh, I enjoy that. And I believe she was 14 or in ninth grade when she asked me if I would mentor her. And so through the years here, I've heard her heart, I've heard her stories. But the thing that I, I began realizing, she was not out to make a career, she was not out to make a name for herself. She wanted to be a woman who loved God and who would someday love her husband. remember especially calling her a few years ago into walking a, a life of faith. And so um, as we shared and prayed and waited for God to bring the man of her, her dreams into her life, one day she came to school and picking up her siblings and she motioned me to the car, I believe. And she said, Sharon, I've had the word. And she said, I know that within the year I will be dating. And now I have, my faith was being tested. <laughs> the three of us happened to be singing at the same wedding. We did not know Isaiah was going to be there. And Sierra was kind of having a fit when she saw him there. She was like, oh my word, see, Isaiah's here. We sang, we get to the reception, and they nicely managed to sit beside each other for supper. And that is where they stayed the rest of the night. We all migrated over to the driveway because there was gonna be fireworks and a sparkler exit. I look back, nope, they hadn't moved from their perch. And Sierra told me later, she said the first fireworks went off and Isaiah didn't even, he didn't even register. So afterward I went over to her and I said, I said, Sierra, I said, you're being kind of obvious. And she's like, do you think I care at this point? <laughs> Some months later, she uh, came to me again and she said, Sharon, I was at this wedding. And, and then she told me the rest of the story and how this young man just kept talking to her and talking to her. But the thing she described about him, I'm like, this is a ghost Sierra. If he keeps in contact with you, then we know. and what we did not know at that point was that Isaiah had already asked her dad and so he was there with um, obvious intentions of getting to know her better. He was 12 or 13 and I wake up in the middle of the night 
as he has sitting straight up in bed, looking under the covers. He's feeling around. I'm like, what are you doing? I I'm looking for my wife. <laughs> So, yeah, he was looking for a while. I think he found her now. I promise to love and cherish you, to provide and care for you in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, to share with you the joys and sorrows of life, to exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward you to live with you in peace as becometh a faithful Christian husband, and forsaking all others, to keep myself only unto you as long as we both shall live.